What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel, my name is Andre and today we're gonna be doing technical analysis of MV's stock. So for those of you who don't know what uh, Microvision is, uh, let me clarify a little bit. Well, Microvision engaged in the development of laser beam scanning technology. It offers its product under the Pico P brand. Pico P scanning technology has addressing the following market segments, interactive and non-interactive project displays, 3D perspective LiDAR sensing for consumer electronics, augmented reality and 3D perspective LiDAR sensing for automotive. So, in my opinion, uh, this is an uh, amazing company because for now we have uh, a spike of demand uh, uh, of uh, different uh, types of hardware and software um, related to autonomous driving. And uh, here is a Microvision website. As you can see, they, ha they have uh, so many technologies uh, uh, protector, projector engine, uh, interactive projector engine, consumer 3D LiDAR sensor and the most important it, it is an automotive 3D LiDAR sensor. I think uh, only this uh, part of their business can spike the entire company to maybe thousands of uh, percentage, thousands of percent. And here is the chart. Uh, let's start with the weekly chart. And here we have a clear spike of three of uh, more than 550 percent uh, during last several weeks. And we have a pullback of uh, 30 percent. Let me show you how deep the retracement was it was uh, about almost uh, 0 0.618 region and it is a very healthy retracement why a measure from this point uh, not from this of uh, from this it's very simple let me show you so here is the greater scale and here is our wave we have the first wave retracement the third one retracement to the fourth actually i don't i'm not sure if uh, it is here or maybe we can go lower because usually retracements retracement uh, doing like this so we have a b c oh, wait a second it's not a good example like this and uh, we have uh, two waves down and one retracement wave of uh, the initial uh, wave but here we can see let me show you here we can see only only v shape some kind of v shape and uh, that's why we can uh, go even deeper a little bit something like maybe something like that I'm not sure for now, but it doesn't matter because we are going to invest in this company and it's uh, it, uh, basically it's not uh, so important to uh, try to find, to catch the low, catch the very bottom of the price movement uh, because uh, if you invest for a long term, for one year from now, maybe uh, 18 months from now, uh, you don't know where you will sell this asset and that's why it doesn't matter the price point from 257 or four dollars maybe five dollars it's not a big difference it, it is a difference but it's not a big deal well if you are invest uh, in this company want to invest in this company uh, for a long term you just uh, have to dollar cost averaging your buys so, in my opinion, as I already mentioned, we can go down from uh, maybe uh, we can go up a little bit and go down and from that point, from that uh, perspective, we, you can uh, start into dollar cost averaging your buys, something like that. And uh, this will uh, make your position more comfortable to go long. If you want to trade and catch all the dips and all the uh, spikes 
you can go to the lower time frame well here we have another pattern as you can see we have strong support on the seven and a half region roughly and another support we have at this region and uh, we are forming something like ascending triangle this means that we have uh, every time bulls trying to push price up but bears hold their positions like this and that that's why we can have an apex in here and usually this structure goes to the upside and uh, uh, this uh, allows us to go long from the show uh, from for short period of time and the game will be something like this here's your entry point you can have stop loss you can put your stop loss right below the previous low maybe you can do it uh, even here but uh, i don't think uh, that uh, it is a viable target to the stop loss i think this one would be better would be much better and the target previous all-time high slightly lower than all-time high and roughly 41 percent of uh, potential profit with the five percent uh, five and uh, five point sixty seven percent of losses and the amazing risk to reward ratio of seven point twenty eight so and now let's define let's define what uh, targeted do we have from this point from this standpoint well let's take this tool it is a Fibonacci it is a Fibonacci uh, extension tool forgot, forgot the word I'm sorry <laughs> well how to use this tool it's very easy and just put uh, the beginning uh, uh, at the beginning of the wave your first point your second point should be the highest the uh, relative uh, spike of the price and uh, the lowest pivot should be the end of uh, your uh, Fibonacci tool, Fibonacci extension tool. Then we have uh, basically according to Elliott wave theory we can go even to one hour chart and uh, here is not and here is our uh, moves always uh, the third wave is the strongest so the fifth wave could be a little bit lower than the third one and uh, this is our first target and uh, fifth wave could be one to one extension so exactly the same as the third wave this implies two possibilities wait a second First of all, here it is. First of all, if you can go long, uh, if you want to go long from this point, basically, you have to put your stop losses at the high, at the uh, previous uh, lowest point, at the previous pivot, and uh, it's relative uh, high to the uh, gain, something like that. But you can dollar cost averaging your buys and i'm sure you will have the opportunity to do uh, to do it and uh, your price will be much lower let's pretend that we have uh, we divided this amount of price movement by two and here is our entry point around six dollars so we have 12 uh, almost uh, 20 percent of potential losses with uh, almost 90 percent of potential profit with risk reward reward ratio is uh, four uh, with 4.5 uh, to 1 and the second second uh, setup 
will be like this. Exactly the same uh, entry point and uh, slightly higher uh, profit, potential profit. So uh, it um, uh, leads us to risk to reward ratio 5.7 with a potential loss of 20% roughly and more than and roughly 120% uh, of potential profit. So with that being said, please subscribe to my channel I hit the like button. It helps my channel to grow. See you next time. Bye.